I'm going to tell you about three reads. This is a process that we tell the kids, teach the kids on how to solve a math story. Um, first, we have them read it three times, so we call it three reads. And each time, they're reading the story for different information. And what the goal of this is, is to have them really focus on what the problem is asking and not just go right to using the numbers in an equation. So the first read, there were eight dogs at the park. Some cats came too. Now there are 10 animals. How many cats came to the park? The first question we ask the kids is who and what the problem is about. So who and what the problem is about. We basically want um, the kids to focus in on the meaning. So when you are doing homework with your child, the first read, ask them who and what. And hopefully they'll say it's about dogs and cats at the park. Then we read it a second time. There were eight dogs at the park. Some cats came too. Now there are 10 animals. How many cats came to the park? So the first read was who and what. The second read we call number information. And we ask the kids, what number information do you know from the story? Not what they need to know, but what number information were they given in the story? And so in this example, hopefully the kids will come up with, there were eight dogs, and at the end there were 10 animals, because truly that is the number of information given. And then we read it a third time. There were eight dogs at the park. Some cats came too. Now there are 10 animals. How many cats came to the park? The third read is asking, what is the story asking? What is the story asking? And so hopefully they'll tune into that it is the final question. So the story is asking how many cats came to the park. And then we have them solve it. And when they're solving it, we ask them to do a few things. Math drawing, labeling, number statements, number bonds, and equations. So they can set the problem up. Usually it's very easy for them to start with a number bond. So they find out what the whole, there's 10 animals all together. Eight were dogs. And this little part here, just adding a little word, the labeling, really helps the kids to know what they're looking for. And then what we teach them is for whatever they're missing, whether it's the whole or the part, they box it. So here they can see that they're trying to figure out how many cats. And if they want to put this in an equation form, they can do it several ways. They can say eight plus, eight dogs plus the missing cats equals 10 animals altogether. Or they could say there were 10 animals, eight of them were dogs, so how many were cats? It does not matter if they're solving it with addition or subtraction because it, they'll get the same whole, they'll get the same result. Um, and so then they can do a picture and we teach the kids that they are just to draw dots. Um, so here I've drawn five groups because I'm trying to represent the 10 animals. And of those 10 animals, the kids can circle eight of them are dots. And you see how quickly I did that the kids should be able to do that quickly because they know five and three is eight, as opposed to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If they're at the counting one by one stage, that's fine, but we want to eventually move them on. So then they can clearly see that two cats came. And that leads us to the final is the number statement where they're actually answering the question. Again, how many cats came to the park? They can just simply say, two cats came to the park. And this really is where the understanding is of what the story is asking. And it also helps with reading comprehension. This final read is by far the most difficult for the kids because it's really challenging them to put their number into a sentence. So I hope that helps with the process of homework, again, we try to have the kids read each problem three times and do enough
number bond, an equation, and a drawing, and a math statement.